What up guys, this is Cubs here. So, welcome back to another episode of Flavor Strainer. Sorry, long time no see, but uh, shit happens. So, uh, today I've got two cameras going. Going back with the classic because, you know, it looks pretty. Anyways, uh, I've got Spitfire today and I'm going to be doing a full review. Complete line, seven flavors. So sit back, relax. Grab a beer, grab a vape, and enjoy. So first off, Spitfire. Uh, picture right here, pr big pretty logo. Spitfire has seven different juices, 100% uh, VG. They've been around for a bit. I picked them up for from uh, ECC last year, uh, 2014 and uh yeah just getting around to it so uh let's check them out all i gotta say is there's some good ones and some not so good ones i didn't enjoy them that much uh flavor is still good but maybe just not my cup of tea as usual be sure to check them out i'll make sure to leave a, a link below and uh yeah let's get to it So this first one is, there's so many of them, uh, Bonker Betty, and Bonker Betty is, let's see here, oh, it's Bomber Betty, no, it's Bonker Betty, Bonker or Bomber, I can't tell, let's go with Bonker Betty. Savory sweet banana rum dessert blend. Uh, I don't catch so much rum. You do get uh, the banana. Definitely get banana in this. If you like banana, you're gonna dig this. I personally. Enjoy banana. It's a sweet vape. Uh, they're pretty good about explaining how the 100% VG works. It's not 100% VG because most flavorings are PG based. So it's all actually explained pretty well on the website. But it is as close to 100% as possible. So, Bunker Betty Banana Rum Dessert Blend. Um, I don't know. I get banana. It's bananas. Bananas, uh, actually, it does have a hint like Bananas Foster. You know what that is. Uh, but it's not, it's hard to pick out if you don't know what Bananas Foster is. If you haven't tried Bananas Foster, you probably wouldn't be able to pick it out and say, oh, that's Bananas Foster, as opposed to that's a banana flavor with something else. Enjoyable, though. Uh, definitely one of my top favorites out of the list. The next one is... Oh, Kamikaze Kate. So I'm almost out of this bottle. Kamikaze Kate is a kiwi... Kiwi Tropical Peach. So it's enjoyable. I like the kiwi peach flavor. More peach. Not so sure about the kiwi. Has a little bite to it. A little bit of throat hit. But some people may not enjoy. It does have that fake sweetener kind of taste to it. Uh, it's probably from the peach.
and you know I enjoy it it's very good when you're vaping it little bit of aftertaste that I'm not I don't enjoy too much but uh, if you vape all day like I do you're not gonna notice it too much uh, so uh, what was this one? kamikaze Kate again uh, Kiwi overall vape production on all of them is really really good uh, it's enjoyable definitely enjoyable Kamikaze Kate uh, and yeah let's move on now this next one I'm using it in a tube mod and I've got a really high build on it it's 0.8 I think so not crazy vapors but uh, I get the flavor and that's the whole point right So this one is Mayday Mary. Now, Mayday Mary is creamy strawberry shortcake blend. And you can tell that it's a shortcake blend. It's a, it's going for that flavor. It's a creamy strawberry. Shortcake, meh. But it's a creamy strawberry. As for as for comparing it to other like vanilla strawberries or creamy strawberries, uh, I prefer the Psycho X over this one. It is a creamy strawberry, but. You get the best taste when you're vaping something else and then you go to this one and then the you get used to it very quickly it's still strawberry but it's not as good as that very first hit of it uh, not one of my favorites out of the bunch but uh, enjoyable if you like creamy strawberries uh, definitely give it a try but don't go batshit crazy thinking that it's going to be the best out there. I've had better, no offense, but uh, it's doable. Not top of the list. Now this one, let's see where we're at, what juice on this. This one is Allied Alice. You know, I have to say the packaging on this. Uh, they, when you first get it, it's got the full covered plastic, child resistant caps. I still talk about bottles, fuck you, whoever it was that said, you still talk about bottles? Yes, I still talk about bottles. Child cap, I haven't had any issues with them. Uh, what I do like about it is on the side, here, let me, get that up on the side right here you'll see that there's uh, a little window and it says fuel gauge and it basically tells you how much juice you got in the bottle so allied Alice allied Alice is a what is allied Alice allied Alice is a smooth blend of caramel custard dessert You can definitely tell it's a custard. Uh, it's a definite custard. It's not one of those vanillas that tries to push itself as a custard. But it's enjoyable. And if anybody wants to know what mod this is, uh, it's one of a kind, handmade just for me. Maybe it will come into production soon. And it's got a Derringer on the top.
So, for the custard, I enjoy custards. Now, they're not as good as they used to be, but everybody's up in arms for popcorn lung. Uh, there's tons of debates, and there's tons of information out there about diactol. I think I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, but uh, if you're worried about it, go check out Grim Green. He's always got information on it. Uh, and, you know, all I gotta say is I smoked for a very long time. And uh, if this has diactol in it, or if it doesn't, either way, it's gotta be, <laughs> to me, still less harmful than smoking so everybody knows the risks vaping is vaping it's still not 100 percent breathing clean natural air but i live in southern california i can't go into 99 percent of the buildings without having seeing a warning saying that uh inside the building may cause cancer so uh it's just a, a give and take if you feel like shit from vaping it don't vape it vape something else uh, I personally, I've not had any issues, but I know it's a long-term situation, and I'm not here to get into the politics or the, the whatnot about it. I don't care. I enjoy vaping. This is what I like. I like custards, but they're not an everyday, all-day type vape for me. Uh, this one is up there with one of my favorite custards. It's enjoyable. Vape production is nice. Uh, I've got it on more of a flavor build as opposed to a cloud chasing build. It's nice. Enjoy it. Uh, that was Ally to Alice. Would I suggest it? Definitely. Go out and try it. If you enjoy custards, go try it. What else do I have here? Lucky Lucy. Now, Lucky Lucy is a unique blend of bubblegum cream. Not a fan of bubblegum, but at the same time, I didn't really get it from this juice. It's creamy, not necessarily bubblegum. slightly creamy, kind of just a creamy, sweet vape. Uh, I can't really say it's bubblegum. I can't. But it's enjoyable for what it is. And I apologize if you guys hear a buzzing, uh, a slight buzzing. I've got a small fan over here because my new office, uh, without the air conditioner on, runs about 110 degrees in here. It's hot. So, uh, yeah. There's going to be a buzz. Lucky Lucy. Let me get back to that real quick. Lucky Lucy is enjoyable. She's sweet. She's uh, almost flavorless, but it's sweet. It's enjoyable because it's a fairly simple, uh, light flavor. Would I suggest it? I'd have to say try it. If you get a chance, try it. Go to a shop, try it. Uh, in my flavor build, it's just a sweet, light juice. And I enjoyed it. It's simple. Uh, something you can vape on all day and not really get tired of it because it's just a sweet flavor. Now I've got D-Day. Debbie. D-Day Debbie is a cinnamon cream baked dessert blend. I'm kind of over cinnamon. At the same time, I don't get a lot of it. It is a little desserty. It has almost the... Uh, there's a few flavors out there that they tend to have like a corn chip taste to them. I 
get it a lot from cere some cereal, cereal vapes. Uh, this one kind of tastes like corn chips to me. Is there cinnamon? A little. Is there corn chips? Yes. There's definitely corn chips. So if they were going for corn chips, I'm sure they'd be able to hit it right on the head. But as for cinnamon cream baked dessert blend, it's not too creamy. Per the flavor of what it's going for, what they say it is, I don't get it. I just don't. And I've got one more juice, so let me go ahead and throw it on the big box. Uh, I want to say congratulations, California, for knocking down SB 114, I believe it was. Uh, we rocked it. But it's just the first of many, guys. So be sure to pitch in where you can. Donate to SAFTA. Donate to uh, CASA. You know, they're out there working their butts off for us. If you can, donate. If you can, uh, you know, repost on Facebook when you see stuff. It helps spread the word. Uh, again... I'm not the best at all the the legal stuff and all the the promotion. I can promote Casa and after my own way. I do it. I share the links and I push and tell people about it. But uh, keep up. Check out their websites. Check out Grim Green. Grim Green's great at this stuff. Uh, you know, if I could quit my job and do this all day, you'd have a lot more videos to watch of me. But I can't. So. Uh, I'm going to keep pushing, keep doing the, the juice reviews. I do have my website up, flavorstrainer.com. I'll have a blog up soon, I swear. Uh, and, yeah. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. So, Rowdy Ruby. Rowdy Ruby is a tropical citrus blend, fruits and creams. You can tell that it is creamy. It tastes to me like a mix between uh, orange creamsicle and a pixie stick. I like pixie sticks as pixie sticks, not as vape juice. Although it kind of grows on you. If you eat a fistful of Starburst, kind of like that, a little more creamy, or even Skittles, uh, one of my favorites, not so much. Uh, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of it. I'm sure it's a good flavor. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't have, you know, doesn't taste like plastic or anything. But as for a flavor that I would enjoy, I'm not digging it. No offense. But Spitfire all around. Spitfire, their overall line, an overall review of everything, all the juices. Me personally, they've got some winners. For other people, I'm sure they might find something that they enjoy. The website touts that they've worked with people with uh, propylene glycol allergies and uh, that they've got the minimum amount of propylene glycol per bottle and that it doesn't cause any allergic reaction. Their website is very informative, very easy to use and navigate. Their juice is enjoyable. They've got lots of flavors I enjoyed. Some I didn't enjoy so much just because I didn't like that flavor, not because it was bad. So please don't say, oh, well, he said one or two was bad. I don't want to fucking try it at all. No. Go out. Try it. Please. 
not once will I tell you to try not try anything except freaking virgin vapor. Don't try any of that shit. It's horrible. Uh, so, in the end, overall, do I give it a number system? No. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, try them. They're enjoyable. I would definitely say if there's particular flavors that you like, it's worth picking up a bottle uh, to give it a try. Price point, I noticed their website, it's about $14.99. These are, uh, I want to say they're like 15 milliliters, maybe a little bit larger. They're not 30s though. Uh, yeah, they're not 30s. But Spitfire, like I said, overall, go for it. And as usual, they bomb vape heads. I can edit my videos just like Rip Chipper. 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 He's going to give somebody a seizure one day. Yeah, I'm just talking shit because I can.